Now, in older versions of Liferay, there was really just one way to create a page, or we only had one type of page, I should say, and that was a, a portlet page. And of course, portlet pages required you to use portlets to render whatever had to show up on that page. But now we have a different mechanism to create pages with something called a content page. So if I go to my site navigation, I go to Site Builder, and I go to Pages, and I click on the plus to add a new public page, you can see that now the, there are a few different options. Now, I just want to point out that in 7.2, although this view is similar, uh, one main difference is that the widget page, which is now, I call it a second class citizen because it's at the bottom of the options, was up at the top beside content page. And instead of saying blank, it actually said content page, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to create a content page and I'm going to call this content page welcome. And that's it. So now the editing experience is a little bit different. So when you create the page, unlike the widget pages, you immediately go into like an edit mode, let's say. And there's a few different things you can do to build this page out. So if I open up this toolbar from the right hand side, you can see there's actually two tabs. There's one called fragments and there's one called widgets. Now widgets is the new term that we use to describe portlets and that, that kind of change names or change terms starting in 7.1. So anybody who's coming from an older version of Liferay who is more accustomed to the term portlets has to kind of adjust their experience to a new nomenclature where we call them widgets. And of course I can add widgets to my page as necessary, but more interestingly, as part of content pages, I have this thing called fragments. Now Liferay provides for me a whole bunch of fragments out of the box, including some complex fragments that allow me to do more complex content management in a section, um, but it also provides for me the ability to create my own fragments, which maybe we'll cover in, in a separate video. So what I can do is I can actually leverage the fragments that Liferay has provided and I can start building out the page the way my designer kind of intended me to do it. So let's say, for example, I want to add a banner to the page. I just drag this fragment into the page and now I have some placeholder text that represents a banner that would be part of my welcome page. Now let's say below that, the designers come up with um, uh, some highlights and they're centered and they're cards. Well, fortunately, Liferay provides me something for that. So I can drag this element in and now I have three separate cards which I can manage the content. But more importantly, what I'm able to do right now is I'm able to prototype a layout based on what the designer has come up with and I can show uh, very quickly some changes to a business user to get approval before I go through the task of actually assigning imagery and changing text. Uh, now let's say the designer has come up with a separate section and I don't have a fragment here as part of my toolbox that's going to align one-to-one -one with what they've envisioned. And for those cases, what I can do is actually, I can create my own sections by composing more of the basic fragments in conjunction with a layout element in order to create the look and feel that I'm looking for. So I'll start with a container. And then in this particular case, I want the container to have a fixed width so I'm going to switch it from fluid, which goes end to end to fixed, where now you can see that I have a gutter on each side of the page. Now within this particular layout, the designers come up with a two grid layout. So I'm gonna drop that in. I'm gonna switch my number of columns from three to two. And it's not a 50-50 split, so I'm actually gonna drag this back to make one side, the left side, smaller than the right side. And now I can use the basic components to start filling in the blanks for what the designers come up with. So I'll start by uh, taking the image component and dragging it into the left-hand side. And I'm not gonna worry about the actual imagery right now, because again, this is just kind of like I'm laying it out and we're gonna have another video where I show you how to actually assign content. Now for this side where I have the content, I see that the designers come up with a heading, a paragraph and a button. Now, of course, this doesn't look very good because everything's kind of mashed together. And the way to make changes to this, these individual components in 7.2 was a little bit more difficult. In 7.3, we have actual inline styling that you can apply to these individual fragments. So as an example, I can choose the, the heading fragment. And then over here, I have the styles option. If I switch to the styles option, I can add some margin to the top and let's say some margin to the bottom. This is all based on the kind of bootstrap utility classes. And then if I scroll down, I can say I want to align the text into the center. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the paragraph. I'm going to text align uh, center. 
And again, I am also going to add some margin to the bottom only this time. And I'm gonna make the margin slightly larger because I want the button to sit further away. And I'm also gonna add some left and right margin so that I can force this text to be in from the edges a little bit more. And then lastly for the button, I can go down here and just like I've done for the paragraph and for the heading, I can center the text. And that's about it. So as you can see, just by using the fragments that are part of the toolbox and dragging them in the page and then configuring the individual items, I'm able to very quickly assemble a page using this composition type approach. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.